Hello and welcome into the video, and I might be a bit late with this, but last Friday Hogwarts Legacy dropped a new video. They dropped a gameplay reveal, sorta, and like revealing a bit about the character creator, the world, and all of that, and we actually managed to watch it on stream together with chat. So if you haven't seen it, I guess this is a good way to rewatch it, and for the people that were curious about, about my reaction, this is also a good way to rewatch it. Just want to put in the disclaimer, I don't usually do this, I do not know how being Reaction Andy works, so uh, sorry if I talk over stuff or whatever, I just pretty much did it how I felt like it was right and enjoyed the presentation. So hope you still have some fun with this and enjoy my reaction to the gameplay and castle reveal for Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy. Alright, oh wow. Anim animations do be fancy, your butters. I like that, by the way, still, that it's rated, like, teen. And not, like, E. Alcohol, yeah, they're probably gonna smoke a cigar or some shit. Blood. How's there blood when you get a Vada Kedavra? Might be a bit loud. Ooh, pretty. I believe those we've seen in the reveal trailer, right? I mean, it looks nice though still, but I remember those scenes. Oh, that was a small rendering <laughs> issue. This one I don't remember though. This seems new. Right? I've not seen this weird s snake thingy. Snake. <laughs> Oh, I'm What's curious. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first Hogwarts Legacy gameplay stream. I'm Chandler Wood, community manager here at Avalanche Software, and we've got a lot of really Slytherin exciting stuff open. to show you today. But before we get into showing you the game and gameplay, I have a few wonderful guests that, that I need to introduce you to. Uh, first up, we have our community guest host. He brings you the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy content. I'm a bit worried to uh, up this. He's the this. local Merlin conspiracy theorist. Uh, guilty as charged, yes. <laughs> One half of Expecto Go, yeah. James Whitehead. Uh, thanks, Chandler. Uh, yes, um, shout, shout <laughs> James out, I guess. Whitehead of Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy <laughs> content. And uh, I am one half of Expecto Go, the better half, uh, my wife Sue. Uh, represents that other half, so um, I'm excited to be here, and thank you, uh, Avalanche Software, for inviting. Can I be the guy? I'm yeah. Why does he get to do this? <laughs> Welcome. Thank do you I for being do I do here. this? Uh, and too Please work. Many okay. people bringing this thing together. Uh, the magic of Hogwarts Legacy. Game director Alan Two. Hello, everyone. And do you think this is live, by the way? Hogwarts expert. Or is this pre-recorded? So thank you for for taking time out of. Your oh, that's very cool. If there's like actual right now, game people. Sit down with us to help us show everybody. Free, yeah, gameplay. probably is right. Uh, so what we're going to be showing you today, first. Scripted either way, creator, also true. Because you're, it's your legacy. I mean, they have those fancy <laughs> animations and whatnot. I don't. Into, I mean, they could do that uh, live, but like, Hogwarts yeah. Bring your whole authentic self to Hogwarts. So we're going to show you. That Tell me if creator. audio is fine. Then we're going to dive into a tour of Hogwarts, and it is. It's just a small tour of Hogwarts, right? Because <laughs> Hogwarts is huge. Hogwarts is really big. Uh, I'm looking so, forward to uh, that. I'm really curious bit, about the open world. A lot. So, <laughs> and finally, ending up with uh, combat. A little taste of combat, a little taste of how all that works. Let's um, go, let's just go. a little taste. Also yeah. going to be interesting. Uh, so character creator, I don't really care about, but I think people do in this chat. This character creator, and James, with you here, we wanted to... <laughs> Uh, let you create this character. So, oh, also they have the floating one. <laughs> Andrew, who is going to be doing all of our gameplay capture today, uh, <laughs> is uh, going to be handing you the controller. Oh my gosh! All right, I won't break anything. <laughs> oh, so they they do actually right, so like what play the game. It's not right just pre-recorded game footage. Um, these are your presets. So a lot like uh, other games, there's there's some initial settings that you can put up. Put, uh, choose for your character mm -hmm. um, that just kind of get them into like the ballpark. It's looking quite what neat, I guess. Be who you want to be and what you want to change. Oh man! And then once you're in that ballpark, all the other tabs <laughs> let you dial that in. I you wish they would have exactly made that a quick time use. event our, in HP6. Our goal with this is to make sure that for anyone Harry and Ron fighting over the book, themselves to the school yeah. for the very first time, yeah. that they feel like they have the options in order to represent who they are and 
and essentially bring themselves to Hogwarts or whatever character also, they want. Also, the, the Hogwarts uniform in like oh the God. late and 1800s Lord, was ugly uh, AF. <laughs> like, what is this? Try to put myself in here right quick. It's all about you okay, 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 all right. All right. I usually okay. like so, old clothing, but this okay, yeah, just kind of looks me. awful. Here, but you know, it's authentic, right I guess. All right, so let's. What's the use there? We're pretty close, but let's like let's look at let's look at everything. Okay. That's drip. It's not though, is it? Oh, I don't like it. I don't know. I think it's the colors for me. Tab. I see face stuff. Yeah, so a lot of the different faces that you saw in the so it's a character movies, creator. All those faces are. I get it. I, I get the have. general gist of this. So you can now you're just kind of <laughs> you're Jamie into the as well. Yeah. Your face shape and your skin color. Yeah, true. No house uh, colors then, is kind of sedate. A lot of people going right in are going to want it right away. Even yeah. though it's an option later in the game. Yeah. Uh, you can collect different types of glasses, put them on later. Uh, we give you some options right up front if you want to have glasses for your character. Oh man! Oh my gosh! Look at the structure of the faces. With this, yeah, wow. plays like late eighteen hundreds. I like that. I don't think my face is that skinny, but <laughs> I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go that. Yeah, route. crazy. There's uh, a character creator. You can create your own characters in it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is oh, why so I don't give a shit about this part. I knew it would be one. like this. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a it's a oh, character creator. Okay, man. sure. This is just some of the but it's fine. Too? We'll wait for yeah, the so for the actual the interesting the game, there's stuff. A lot, there's a lot of different uh, options that you'll keep unlocking. Okay. So as part of kind of like gear for the character. I assume the next tab up there is like haircut, right? This All kinds of things, uh, eyes, the ca eye color, house. Yeah. That's actually good. This is important. You can choose your house. I think. Oh, we can go. Leak on this one with the hair. <laughs> yep. Hairstyle, hair color. I spend a lot of time here just like dreaming about my different characters. And oh my gosh, the pony. I, the thing I'm always amazed by whenever I see any aspects of. I mean, come on, it looks nice. It's not an oh my gosh, though. It's a, it's a character creator, mate. And like, you even adding the bounce with the hair moving around. Like, yeah, okay. Like it's, it, it's, it. it looks nice. It's cool. It actually looks pretty good, the hair. It does. But, like, come on. It's not, like, mind blowing. Are you welcome back, Henrik? Yo, this is so cool. Oh, I like that. That is cute. Oh, <laughs> okay, so uh, little behind the scenes, I used to have this type of hair like way, way, way back. But was it purple? <laughs> I wanted uh, silver tips, so Tongs. that was the closest I got. To Tongs, color, is but... it you? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So you literally can a randomizer. Like, oh yeah, I wonder if you can just do it. Yeah, there's like the presets, I guess, but not really. I haven't seen random actually. Here. All right, so now you get artificial hair dye in the 1800s. Uh, it's magic. The... These are more subtle options. Okay. We've got freckles, moles, um, different things like uh, when it comes to your complexion, like darker eyes, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. like some shading on the cheek. Oh, you can have scars? Oh, That's yeah. kind of cool, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with this. Yeah, I do have a bit of fun with that. And then the yeah, it's, are, uh, it's, are it's pretty much where... as expected, yeah. Like, it's yeah, nice. It's the hair looks good. Star, Everything looks pretty good. Yeah. Holy shit, that's quite the oh, scar. Oh, wow. Look at that. I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, those are my favorite. The, the, the eyebrow scars. Yeah, yeah. Love those. Love yeah. those. Yeah, you look kind <laughs> it's of a like, classic. Yeah, you look classic. kind of just like tough. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're over here. Oh, man. This, you guys, this is so sick. I mean, it's like, a character so creator. Here, you know, really like, like I'm sorry. I agree that it's cool, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't yeah, make yeah, it that big of a deal. It's a bit, uh, reveal, like, a it's a bit much. Faces, uh, features now, just like, yeah, I kind of have a big face. <laughs> it's <laughs> eyes. I can change the color. <laughs> but, I mean, OMG. You have so many options just that would be cool, Melania, if you could just like type your own like story in there. I guess you can make it up for yourself. <laughs> this, but... this final tab here, this is where you kind of bring your whole character together. You know, this is where you finalize everything. You're not choosing your house here. Okay. That's not yet. That uh, was a theory. <laughs> uh, but I am jealous, yeah. I cannot bring, change uh, the you, color you of my... Oh, this is interesting, though. Two, which is is there the house in there? This feminine voice. Not the house in there. That, changing your pitch. Oh, hmm. with the, the pitch slider. It's a subtle slider. Difficulty is good. We'll definitely bump that up to art. 
and so you can kind of make out the differences. But yeah, you choose which kind of voice that you want. Oh, I can uh, I can like buy that this guy is like in his teens, oh, like yeah. 16, and 17. Be, I can buy that. I think that's all right for me personally. Leader. And we can talk a little more about difficulty, yeah, with with combat. As long as they spend twice as long in the Hogwarts too, yeah. I really hope this is not like the longest thing. For people who aren't gamers, especially, story mode is a way to get into this without being worried about like oh, do I need to be the plep mode, the speed run mode. To be fair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it has the house. Oh, I guess it's just the Hogwarts then, uh, crest for like the dormitory it? one. I mean, what do you think, character creator? We're good. I'm good. I'll let you yeah, know. we are. We are good. Please there. move on. All right. Through the no magic cat of uh, using using a dev kit, we're gonna be loading up a, a save a little later in, um, so that we can show you more about Hogwarts. Said not yet. That That'll be later on in the game. Ah, right, okay. Andrew's got some gameplay pulled up for us. Okay, here. okay. Are, oh, I mean, it does look James, good. There, though. there you are. You're wearing the house fanatic <laughs> robes uh, from the from the account linking. <laughs> Freaking yeah, Hufflepuffs. Yeah, look good. And this is our first look at the Hufflepuff common room. I'm assuming. I mean, it dorm sure room. it sure yeah, does yeah. look very this very awesome. neat. But Alan, what are we what are we seeing right here with the so, UI? Because this is our first look. We have a map. Yeah. So um, right Potions. now we know there's been a lot of questions about uh, about about the HUD because this is the first time we're showing it. So um, kind of going over it from right. Oh, to the left, owl on the bottom oh. right is what we call our spell diamond. Mm -hmm. So those are everything that you see in it are slottable spells. So we have over twenty slottable spells that you can earn over the course of the game. Okay. okay. And, and twenty that's isn't bad. That's them and use quite them a bit. And access them very quickly. As long as one um, of them is flippendo. To the top left of that is you'll see the D-pad, and on the left is an eyeball, and on the right is a bit of a grid. So uh, the eyeball is an example of one of not a slottable spell, but what we call an essential spell. Um, there are certain spells that are used in very specific contexts. Or, um, or that we just want on the controller at all mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. and no, I, I'm those. pretty That's sure they move the it right now, the camera. On the right on the D-pad is that grid represents where you might slot spells. And so okay. right now, today, we're not going to be going into the spell slotting menu because we feel like there's a lot of spoilers there. You know, <laughs> like what are all the spells and what I, can we do? I like yeah, I didn't quite understand what that means, but okay. Um, but we do want to make sure there's still some goodies left to share with mm -hmm. everyone. And then uh, on the left side, that thing that has the L1 button next to it, uh -huh. that's another thing where we don't want to spoil. But basically, that's where you access your tool wheel. So there's a lot of magical tools. <laughs> AKA, really, we have uh, not finished uh, this yet, maybe. I don't think so. The course of the game. <laughs> and so that's where Who's you would access me? them rapidly is our tool wheel. Okay, cool. Um, there are a few things that I left off the table on um, the right. Uh, the your solitude. Your I'll probably just go with Gryffindor, man. It's 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 what I got on on Hogwarts Pottermore. And uh, all the way on the left is our mini map with a kind of overhead view of where you are currently yeah. in your common room that updates as you travel through um, Hogwarts and beyond out into the world. And for those those fans out there that aren't a huge fan of mini maps because we know they exist, there's also options to remove the mini map oh, and cool. turn on or off. Yeah, this is Wingardium oh, for sure. Hard. That's yeah. Lumos for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and we'll <laughs> not sure what that is. As we get into combat, but that's kind of that's, could be a sect of Sempra, could be Axia. Yeah. That's good guesses. Also, Andrew's giving us a, a good look over here. I want to I want to call out. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of the bedside tables in the dormitories. <laughs> the um, bedside tables. I mean, it looks nice. Very nice bedside tables. They are nice. <laughs> Shut up about the bedside tables. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I mean, right. sure. The That's beautiful the bedside table. There we go. All right. I've never okay. seen such nice so bedside tables in any game. Into... We, we really tried making these low ceiling dorms to give you that badger set. Yeah. <laughs> Sort of feel. The first thing I know. Oh, the half of oh, that's cool though. Is oh. Gorgeous. And and I'm calling out here. Uh, oh, are they a meme on the Hogwarts Legacy subreddit? Okay, I see. That's cool then. Then I then I actually like that that they engage with that. Music's a little bit different, and that is entirely intentional. That's actually pretty hype then. We just want to welcome you to your common room in every single house, just <laughs> a little bit differently. We can customize that. Yeah, it's... Right oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Hufflepuff has always been kind of the hobbit holds, yeah. I mean, beautiful design. I, I, we could spend, like, the entire rest of the stream just in the common room here yeah. and talking about it, and I'm sure Boston and James could be, like, just <laughs> geeking out over not it. As the, not as good as the HP2 all, all map, the I agree. Ooh, there's moving the cacti. <laughs> the round doors, the... It looks very and similar I to the HP2 map we've played, though. The, it's, kind of, it's kind of real earthy vibe. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very earthy. Which is, which What's is the like lock on the map? I assume either like a quest or a secret or something. I don't know. Gryffindor is fire and Slytherin is water. We wow. really, really leaned into that for each common room. Wow. So hmm. if it feels earthy. We've got a little earthen passageway. That's that's what we were 
Hopefully That's cool as well, with the elements yeah, for the houses. Yeah, it does, it does. But I, I know you don't want to leave, but we're going to be leaving. Thank you. I understand. Whoa, the sound effects, though. Like, looking back at the past trailers, it was just music, but kind of hearing how Hogwarts is now, it's so cool. It's tactile. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Andrew's going to make use of one of our spells, Revelio. It is nice. Use Revelio right here, because there's a little magic going on. And it is canon. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah, the way to enter the common room, we know that. that. We kind of interchangeably call Revelio pages or lore pages. And you'll notice a bunch of things pop up on the screen. Yeah. You see that I don't mind icons on the board. map, though. Mm -hmm. I think it makes sense. That we've oh, called, they're sprinting. Like, the field guide challenge okay. up okay. in the corner. Uh -huh. So, I want to talk about that a little bit. So, we had to ask ourselves, what? Eh? That's the entrance <laughs> to the kitchen, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw the fruit bowl. <laughs> Maybe something you may or may not be able to tickle there. Yeah. Um, but uh, in our game, we had to answer the question, you know, we're a late... Player. I hope there's no stamina running. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, so that's peeps. We have an answer to that question, <laughs> and, and it's given to you by the staff. So there's something that we call... Peeves sliding. Wait, I'm in front of the thing the entire time. Early oh, on in the game. Sorry. And the Wizards Field Guide is how, how you actually work on... You couldn't see the spells, season. but now so, you can. So, Andrew, if you hit pause for me up here, before you push forward a little bit, you can see in our pause menu, it's got this book theme. Wow. That's your wizard's field guide. And you can see your house kind of crest right, overlaid middle, yeah. over it. Right? Okay, okay. And you can see that on your level as well. So, so that's that, the 100% menu, has huh? This magical property of <laughs> wow, it's a book. The world around you, <laughs> mm -hmm. And the reason why it's on loan from the Ministry of Magic and the professors so have cool. granted it to you as a late fifth year student is because they want it to help you catch up to the other Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a lot to, to fill out by the looks of it. to learn and grow all around you. So the way it works is as you discover gameplay in the game, it actually recognizes that as a challenge which is kind of locked into there. Okay. And Andrew, if you go in there, you'll see different types of challenges that are combat challenges, wow. quest challenges, mm. exploration challenges. That's going to be a long game. run. <laughs> That entire category is one of the ways that uh, the Wait, book he said category. Kind of He's acknowledging Hondo. Into the school and spills out into the it's school. A good category. And kind of hides itself with different types of challenges and different things to do around the school <laughs> that you're that actually going so to cool. interact with to help you grow as a wizard and practice. Yeah, yourself. that's gonna that's and gonna so take a while. Is not just a field guide challenge and a way to earn yeah. XP. It's also something that uh, that players can use to learn about the school as they're traveling around. They spot these little secret facts and they can kind of play a little bit of a game, discovering all of them. And there, there, are, there are over a hundred field guide pages just in Hogwarts alone. Wow. So, a little wow. glimpse of the grand wow. staircase yeah. here. Yeah. As he said in Hogwarts <laughs> alone, but I guess we kind of oh, know that tower. there's more areas. And I did notice the flu flame just ignite right there, which was so cool. Yeah. Oh man. Fast travel points there. House hourglasses. We had What's to, the entry I, hall. I, how much fun was it designing those and putting all oh, those in gorgeous, there? But, but oh, they're that's just cool. like in the books. Yes. Right it's next to the Great lore. Hall. It's a nod yeah. to lore. House points is not a. That's just like in Siction. What's this guy on the left yeah. doing? Yeah. It into like a, a <laughs> gameplay system, but it's definitely present throughout. Oh, the they're game. shouting. And there are lots of choices where we want to. Yeah, I do that as well in my free time. I just go around and shout at like statues. But we've Give me more as, points. As part of the narrative. Over to the right part of there, the Andrew world. was teasing. That's the uh, Great Hall over yeah. through those doors. Again, <laughs> yes, we're not glass. There, Let's go. Wait, that's not like the entrance. Uh, the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Cool. Cool. Oh, cool. There's like an extra entrance uh, hall and then the there's the courtyard. Page, you know, just again, showing you like just these things around Hogwarts that you can you work do correct. and pick up. And Axio. That's a shot straight from the trailer too. <laughs> that part right there. I, I recognize that. It might be giving you a little fan service here with uh, it was Axio. callbacks to those. So. <laughs> um, and this must be summertime because I noticed these are the summertime windows. These windows will change with the seasons. So. Yeah, the detail they put in That's cool. is kind of... I get surprised by it all the time. <laughs> that is cool if they so change with the seasons. Castle, so. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, come on. Entrance courtyard. Uh, sometimes, Let's like, some that. speedruns allow breaks the uh, if they're the super long. Congregate, just to kind of chill out, play oh. meet each other outside the Great Hall before and after meals. And this is like, I, I, I it's the, the it's the basic layout of HP5 again. So Look at this. It interconnects outside, inside. There it is. Pathways on both sides like obviously it's changed a bit, but the bridges lined up. To how big this castle and, is. and when you see things, like you'll, you'll notice a bridge. It's like viaduct entrance. Go to cross. Like yeah. Everything is, everything that Essentially. you see is a place that you can visit. Wow. That's cool. We tried so, we put a lot of effort in making it feel really alive. 
um, not just with student population, but even just the greenery and stuff. <laughs> gobstones. Yeah. And this castle. Yeah, hopefully they don't bring gobstones so back. Just kind of, the moss yeah. and all the trees that have overgrown it and yeah i mean it gosh. makes sense that they have fast that travel that's scottish which is going to help for speed runs as well um, i thought i recognized it i believe this is from the spring asmr and yes so that puzzle right there that view oh that is uh, that's is cool taking us right back to i'm that. gonna tell andrew not to interact <laughs> with that puzzle and to keep moving on no, I am very much looking forward to that. We can't give you everything, right? Hogwarts so. contains a lot of. And just force push the door open. <laughs> oh my um, god! But this is uh, this that is violet entrance, right? Right here, coming down into. Why no quidditch uh, warping? Really kind of True, that's way area. cooler. Yeah, we're coming upon the central hall, and we pointed well, out no, the, it's the central outside, hall. So they changed and, that. And we'll notice when we get down there that it's on the right. This and, is a big hub of the school. Like it, it's a big castle. Interesting. But, um, it is designed so you shouldn't get very lost. This is kind of a grand central station. In your space. I love that. I love each that. direction. Yeah, you know, force push is my over favorite there, spell. The greenhouse is over there. Transfiguration courtyard. You know, library straight ahead. So it's okay, interesting. So it is different the than, than uh, 5 PC. Even the color, visually, you can just tell, okay, green. Oh, green greenhouse. Oh my god. I should, a lot of it will be subconscious, but yeah. it, it'll help you really feel, learn the castle and mm -hmm. feel like you know your way around. That is, that is <laughs> That's nice. That's not to say that it's easy to learn. All of us here still get pretty lost in it, <laughs> it on a daily castle. basis. It's, it's a castle. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be great. Go like walking through that, well, discovering is, uh, places. Oh, I can't wait. Here. I'm noticing he's swinging the camera this way and that. Is... <laughs> yeah. Transfiguration courtyard. It's just like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, it looks a lot like Fall Lord. I thought that already on like the first gameplay review. You know, and just kind of chill out. Curious about the fighting as well. To uh, talk to somebody, get a. Get Yo, a it's Nelly. <laughs> Classic character. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. You want keys. me? Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. From you six PSP. I don't think she's been that? in that. Each key will lead you to a lock. guy doing the background. The castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task. You may find a reward. Why is, is the guy in the background just vaping? Perhaps <laughs> I'll give it a go. What's I hope that? You do. In fact, <laughs> I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Sure, I guess. So it's kind of side quest are really, it's a cool way yeah, that's, to I mean, that's cool, though. with your fellow students with perhaps... I don't know what he was doing. I have no clue like what that, happened well there. Teach you some more of the but that's, I mean, I like that, that though. There's, there's yeah, some case, stuff going on. Yeah. yeah, so it, the students are a way to kind of like flesh out the school opportunities around it, what, what we can do, and then those interactions... Uh, different interactions with different characters. Uh, yes, yeah, it looks like that's it's very play. lively, and honestly. Things, a lot uh, of side can, quests. Can affect things game wise. Right. affect characters' lives. Uh, the ending of the game. Um, Magical drug smuggling. It's just about you being a little sometimes bit of a nice about guy the or just being a jerk. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's so cool, though. Really that's really varies, cool. But but, uh, but those opportunities exist for the player. Wow! Look at this. That really is like a bit like a bully da -da. Hogwarts Fancy version. Dark arts. Power, power. Which uh, th this is one of my favorite locations in in the castle. Just visually, you come in here and just the the richness of it this is area. Very iconic, <laughs> very unique. I hope they have the face plan. Anywhere else? Why is there a Nazgul statue? We can talk to uh, notably a, a younger student. Yeah, um, she looks like a first year or an eleven year old. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Nope. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oof. <laughs> Everyone hates you. <laughs> That's Why? pretty because sad. Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. Aww. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. 
And if you lose, they say no, 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 no. I heard gobstones. No, 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 no. Sounds awful. That one. Sa yes, yes, they I picked it. Interest in a game that <laughs> sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do, or at least not often. People can be breaking so poor Zenobia's heart, but like picking the correct option. I like it. It's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Okay. I would have done the same. <laughs> Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation yes, fuck and they swords. responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my yeah, own. Yeah, I, I do I think in-game the outfits look quite nice. Yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year. Dude, have you not gotten the message yet? We're not helping you, I'm sorry. The deaf, the deaf wants to be an asshole. Wait, there's actually no option to say no. I'll see what I can do. They're forcing I you into the side help. quest. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Oh my god, they even have Snake Pit! With her because there's so many oh ways my god, that's go actually that. just HP5. You can be a jerk <laughs> and be like, gobstone sounds awful. It sounds like you're just mean. See, that's like, the kind of, uh, that's the, the kind of references I want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they continue. <laughs> that's a good example of, uh, chessware. Oh, that's ask, cool, gobstones, man. Uh, gobstone's playable? They, may, may, they mentioned it, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, gobstone is one of the things that is not playable in the game. Um, I know we've we've had to rip the bandaid off on a few things. I honestly, the, it's both an it's an amazing thing on the franchise how many things about this like like speak to us as fans and that we want to turn into gameplay. And and there were calls that we had to make over the course of production of kind of like which things we will and won't include in the bucket. Yeah, it's it's, it's the, the Slytherin gobstones in HP5. Those are things that aren't featured. Aren't featured. Yeah. They're featured within the world. Uh, but I no gobstones. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Every single time there was something that we, 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 we God, they have because beans we on the balcony. <laughs> we also tried to figure out a way to make sure there was it was nice. narrative mm. included in the stories. Mm. Make sure that there's a way to kind of like acknowledge it, touch it. You know, and, and make it feel like it's definitely part of the world. And I know here too. <laughs> I, we're, we're like, like <laughs> oh, it's the things I'm Moody like, has. We're in the physics. You collect those in HP four. Those weird eye thingies. The left, where we were just at Andrew's walking by. I also recognize the dragon at the very top. Oh my god. Dark detectors. Being in yes. A classroom, I think this oh, is that's a good cool. opportunity to talk about how classes work because we've gotten a lot of questions about that. Is it mm. a schedule-based system? Is mm. it to, to tell us how classes work? Yeah, so um, ultimately we decided not to go the sim route. So I think like one of the speculations was is there a time of day and you know that kind of thing like can I miss class at this yeah. time of day? There is a day night cycle. Yeah. Yeah, there is a day night cycle, but uh, but everything is very um, narrative based. And so there's a big mystery going on in the world. There's something happening in the narrative, and we and we essentially see it as kind of like chapters in that narrative, each chapter of which has a set of missions that you can choose between as you're progressing through the game, and classes Some fit tea. within that structure. Mm -hmm. So there are mainline things that the players have to do, and then classes also appear on the sides as well as optional things that help you advance your spells. It's absolutely true that classes... So all the classes are missions, essentially. Gameplay, your spells your major abilities, you get to know the Interesting. Each one of them has these So there's like no actual kind of open yeah, world. Yeah. I just walk around and enter this class, that, which kind of honestly, like that's side fair. Classroom missions, essentially, where you can learn additional spells or things that you need in your adventure. And yeah, I saw that one as well, Solaire. <laughs> And I just want to call out something that, that Andrew's been kind of showing off, uh, ways to kind of interact with the environment and just, just uh, engage with the world. And, you know, maybe down there he's sipping some tea yeah. with... Uh, I love it. Victorian <laughs> high, you know. Yeah. High society. High society. Yeah. 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 It's, it's no wonder you like this area because we built it. Yeah, it like would be pretty hard to go to. Oh, it's the uh, <laughs> drawbridge or whatever it's called. Well, like, speaking of lived in, like... The sound effects again, the chatter of the communication is happening. I'm already satisfied with this. It just makes it <coughs> feel more alive. This like looks that. really <laughs> amazing. I just saw a <laughs> and like it's very lively, all the side missions, all the freaking references. The That's really Dana cool. was one example, but um, no two hallways should look the same in Hogwarts. It's a 
it, it has a lot of personality. So much green, yeah. should be a little bit different, and that's mostly to help orient the players. Right. Yeah, I think they show off lost, combat but, later but on as well. This is Hesperus Hall. That's a little nod from, uh, the from what I've heard. A name that came from the Mar Marauders map. But every hallway will have a little bit of a different personality. That looks like God of War. That might be why they pushed their game back. So they don't have to compete with that. Like that yeah. it, it would make more and more sense. Hogwarts has you know, character. Hogwarts is its own character no matter where you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mule a wheel. It's just a little bit different. Yeah. And it's a locked classroom. Magic for hundreds of years. Yeah. It's going to kind of and grow and develop. Of, uh, oh, I heard something. Uh, yeah. Speaking of characters. Uh, Speaking of magic. <laughs> Mr. He's Mr. back. Himself. <laughs> I feature poltergeist for two. You know, we talked about building on lore too. I know there's that statue over to the side. Peeves is That's probably going to be an absolute Lachlan menace. The lanky, yeah. and he's yeah. got his, his Old Peevesy back <laughs> after HP3 Xbox. It's know, been a while for him. Well, page there. Yeah, yeah. there's a, a map of Argyleshire. We know the fat lady hides there. Hides behind it. That's right. <laughs> the third, third book. <laughs> but sometimes a, a hallway has personality by how it looks. Or we just passed a music hallway where the portraits have kind of taken it over. And um, so the sound makes it really unique. Right, yeah, I really hope they here. finish the game before the they release that, uh, it and our like and our gameplay and what we've shown so far. Yeah, I wish this game hours. the best. Okay. I really hope it's so going to be good. I mean, look at, at that. It looks owlry. nice. We're looking directly at the owlry to show you all of the owls. I really <laughs> hope there's a climbing <laughs> mission there the so you can climb up. Great callback. Great call. <laughs> no, I also I also love that as I I one of my favorite things about just kind of going around on the outside of the school is that all those things that I see are places that I can yeah. go to mm. that I can visit. I just love that clock so tower. Cool. That is real. That lovely Scottish countryside. <laughs> We're uh, kind of closing out our our mini tour of Hogwarts, and again that, was a, that looks like the clock tower courtyard. Uh, what can I say? Enormous castle. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. Here. Oh my God, that's so, so cool. Recognizable location, yeah. but this that's is HP five. Wands, Again, the but secret, pretty. Not so secret dueling club is. Uh, yeah, even the wooden together. thingies up there. Professors definitely know about it, but they think they're being clever. <laughs> uh, and it's run by. Sabotage the, the, the clock. <laughs> Who's in oh no, here. it's Luce, like Lucen. Is, yeah, Lucan? Like he's running things. Hello, Lucan. Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Nope. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all of your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. And this is a really good opportunity to now jump what is into that? Combat. Now they don't show the mini the game, game. really? Oh, there they do. Uh, okay, cool. The first time where you yourself get to learn <laughs> Not yet, about Sansi. combat and combos in a big a nice way. Rest. A Let's go. Way. Uh, for me personally, this was where the game like really starts to open up to the possibilities. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've set up a we've set up a training dummy, and this is kind of an activity. There are no subtitles. To according to kind of the iconography on the top. Now, uh, what we see on the top is the Accio spell, followed by four what we just kind of lovingly refer to as basic shots. Um, <laughs> uh, there are certain spells what the wizards kind of like use, just kind of fling. Andrew's using one now. And Fields you HP trigger four, that man. by tapping R two on your controller. So mm -hmm. you can see in the corner R two. So if you tap R2, that throws out a basic shot. But that R2 is also your gateway to all of the, the uh, spells that you might slot. So if you okay. hold R2 instead, you can see how the diamond expands. And if we let go, you see how it contracts? Yeah. And so if you hold it again, it expands. And so when it expands, then all the spells that you slotted while you're holding that, that button sense. can now be tapped with your face button. Yeah, awesome. that's, that's what I thought that, with HP4. Over the course of the game, you can gain um, they won't show flipenda up to four additional Lumos. ones so that you can slot up to 16 spells you know pretty much instantly and then that helped what's us, the right one um, is that right to some fantasy of in combat i need to be able to access things very rapidly yeah and and so you learn over the course of these events you know how to juggle not just the spell casting but also it reinforces um, an understanding of another feature of the wheel, which is their cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So as you're casting kinda spells, cool. just to make sure that you're not just kind of like repeatedly using one thing over and over and right, over again, right. you can see cooldowns on the spells that he's using uh, on the wheel. And then as you progress through the game, there are different things that can affect... I mean, to be the fair, they both did like the same uh, thing now. Yeah, amongst other consoles, it will be And so uh, if you hold down our... The view was so when he said that. Will switch between your other diamonds if you've unlocked them, <laughs> and and that's how you access all those. Oh man, 
I mean, it looks cool. I just hope here. that not everything does yeah. the same. So this is this is a great way to kind of learn. Spell so on the left. Oh. <laughs> pull things together. Um, so you pull those combos right together. Here. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, okay. I, okay. Oh, it does pull it closer, <laughs> I guess. That that's something. <laughs> and that's just against the dummy, but I mean. Uh... I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. I agree, be Lucan. A fearsome challenger now. His now voice doesn't can, really uh, fit his face. Something a little more challenging. It's going to shoot back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about a uh, some more. One hundred and eighty XP. Uh, Holy shit! Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? We're on a PS5 dev kit here, so we're going to be able to kind of. Pause I'm the ready. pause yeah. the action yeah. Yeah. and talk about what you're seeing on the screen because uh, there's about to be a lot going on. Okay. Okay. Oh um, god, I read that name very wrong. I wizard has ruined me with those you can memes. Select uh, if you want to fight with somebody but yeah, else. Um, um, yeah. But in this case, we're not. We want we want that action to feel a little more frantic. I would have chosen Sebastian, Sebastian Swallows. Yeah. He he yeah. seems beatable. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about you. So nah, that's like just a boy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, now I'm curious how like the actual fighting yeah. works. Um, so I can I can explain this uh, just because I know people are going to go into it, but we can probably just kind of. Is the Um So uh, you're not the only one that has Protego and the ability to deflect. The enemies do too, and we actually play with that when it comes to the spell casting. So you notice that there are different colored kind of shields yeah. around the different characters. And you also notice that your spells have different colors on them. So to help players understand kind of like the function of their spells, we yeah. kind of put them into brackets. So there are oh, damage cool. spells, there are force spells, there are, um, I'm forgetting the other one, all of a sudden, control spells. Mm -hmm. And so those things for the player, yeah. they wind up also being a color indicator for which which actual spell to use to break the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's that awesome. way it rewards mm -hmm. kind of like that close right. attention that right. you're paying and we've, on things. we've got this pause here now and you can kind of see <laughs> yeah, all the elements that on would the screen, be sick. The, the halo around the avatar's head, yeah. each of the different shields uh, to kind of give us a, give us a breakdown yeah, of what's going on. Give us a breakdown on. of different things that you're saying. <laughs> um, so you notice at the top uh, that we're we're kind of like calling out which enemy you currently Yo, have targeted so. and their level and health and so... Like know, I like it, it's not just mashing, there's like, you know, color coded down. things the, and whatnot. Uh, the halo over your head, whenever an enemy is about to an attack, it's it's almost like you have a little bit of a sixth sense for those things that are coming. Um, if you see the halo, it means there's an incoming attack. And if you tap the triangle button by default, mm -hmm. then that you will be able to deflect that attack that comes in oh. and off with yeah. the okay. And I love that yeah. deflect where it goes off and yeah, that's like, also hits cool. Things, like yeah, I don't know, this kind of breaks things I'm still not 100 percent convinced. Uh, also, uh, button, it might it still just, just be kind of spell deflect, mashing, but also <coughs> I was worried it would be worse. Stupefy that actually stuns the enemy, and you can use that even in your combos and stuff. So yeah. if you're focused on a character, you know, and you're you're doing your thing. It's just one poor pog. That was cool. Turn that attack into a direct attack on the person. Using like the environment. Back into into gameplay here. Andrew's gonna pretty pretty handily finish these. these yeah, other well, students we'll, off we'll have to see how this feels and like here. actually plays. I think. I mean, this it see it looks cool and all, but <laughs> oh, nice potion. Yeah, we really felt like the. Um, we really felt like in the. Movie, yeah. It's almost like a <laughs> murdering students in Hogwarts again. <laughs> By throwing like a, that a barrel. There, there's this element of kind of like fencing from a very great yeah, distance. Yeah, that's and, a good call. And there are a lot of... Uh, Too easy, come on. To come on, I know you want it. Yes! Kind of they, whoever the placed this speaks my language. Soon, soon we'll be playing Hogwarts Legacy. Be. But welcome in as well. Last round, they'll really have it in for you. Yeah, the, the you death is like absolutely vicious. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. I'm glad that Hope Hogwarts is still as lethal as ever. That's great. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's the, it's for all the models. We're going to wrap it up for us for now. <laughs> for what we want to show you no. character creator, <laughs> tour of Hogwarts and that, uh, Yeah, that guy has it coming. Combat. Duncan, I will remember that name. No, that wasn't his name, was it? Well, Shit, I already forgot his name. Uh, Guess I won't remember. May it. show in the future, may show next time. Uh, you know, so leaving the castle. Uh, Lucan, thank here. you. Um, 
Got to put that on my on my list. More, more owls. Uh, <laughs> Owl nail. Oh, there's the owlry again. Yes, all of the owls. Um, but yeah, just heading out here again to show you, like, from Hogwarts. To oh my God. The world beyond Hogwarts. The stone and, circle and is real. Where is Hagrid's hut, though? We're going today, but uh, we, we will definitely be taking you in the future. Wait, there's a hut down there. Did I just see a hut down there? Is that where? A glimpse at the, the scale of the castle back there. All right, so we're going to wrap things there's, up There's there's a roof but, there. Uh, it's Oxad. Who's Ox? Is that the one before think, Hagrid? James, you may have a few other questions <laughs> here at the end of things. So, yeah. while we're done with uh what Does we're not sound like the most qualified side, person. Uh, I know there's Ox a few hut, things that but you sure. Want to pick Alan and Boston's brains about. I would love that cuz there's a lot. <laughs> All right, so um, some of these questions we did pull from the community. Uh, secretly, but I did a full for the community. So, uh, and, and also from, I mean, going through this, I feel like they're, of, they're, yeah, you've come up with some things you want to talk a little <laughs> more Hagrid's about. Hagrid's a time I'm traveler. To elaborate on because we went through character customization, Hogwarts itself, and even combat. So, yeah, that was cool uh, though. I mean, the like question, sure, guy. we'll stay in for uh, that. But will we be able to go back and change our character? <laughs> yeah, right. Wasted. Like um, it's so not everything. It looks really cool. There are certain things uh, with hairstyle, hair color. Like the uh, open world so looks really, like really shapes, cool. You know, like with the body and face, not after the fact. Okay. Um, but there are lots of things. There's kind of like a barber shop in Hogsmeade. I think it's the only to, questions left. Yeah. Just a wizard there, barber. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that makes sense. Perfect. You can change your hairstyle and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. <laughs> and the game features a lot of um, appearances. In Hogsmeade, the Hogsmeade has been. So there's, they've there's they've said they they have that before. Um, but that that's. In terms of like your character and stuff that you have mm -hmm. the character creator, it's mm -hmm. like a, it's like a. I really, a really hope they have a picture of PlayStation okay. One Hagrid somewhere. It would break the immersion Next completely question, though, so they they shouldn't. Leisurely activity. Yeah, I'm very much can looking do, forward to this. Uh, can we study with our free time? I mean, what will we be doing? Just hanging out in Hogwarts. Um, because. Uh, as you progress through the game, there's a bunch of different missions that open up. Most yeah. of them are driven Still by like the rotating personalities. <laughs> you know, some of them want help getting up the hijinks, or they want. Some of them want to just explore secrets in the castle right, because right. there are new secrets in our castle. Wait, what do you mean, Saber? And so um, you were part of so the game. I think uh, there's there's a bunch of things I to do. And when it comes to class, um, or is that what one of them earlier, said in the interview? Not just the mainline stuff. There are kind of like extracurricular assignments, some of which are optional, some of which are are kind of like uh, blockers for main missions. Sounds so like your like classic Oxmead trip, right? Until you have the spell. Butterbeer and, and the a haircut. And the spell is open, you Got know, it. the assignment and how you complete it yeah, with, yeah. with your professor. Wait, and so it? there are opportunities to um, to study, so to speak, like right. with that. Wait, but are you for real? They do all take take uh, the form of our mission structure. <laughs> is that actually for real? Because you've been around wow. this channel for um, so long. Let's get into some combat right That's quick. pretty Paul. Uh, do spells have different levels or are they all equal? So you're saying you made this trailer? Equal. I'm trying to think of how to describe that. So each spell I, has I kind of don't like know. <laughs> identity and what it does in the game mm -hmm. uh, with regards to both kind of like puzzling, world exploration, and, 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 the, subtitles. and the combat and all that mm. kind of stuff. Right. And then it's through the talent system, okay. right? Okay. When you go okay. into that, it's kind of like each of those spells has ways to kind of like advance and grow and change. Okay. And as you spend talents, in some cases, it even... And we're not even watching like it on YouTube. The, <laughs> Shame on me. Field and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, I I'd say that's no more true than with like dark arts, for example. And oh as you no, go down they're talking line, about dark arts again. Play around with those. Talents, <laughs> it's happening again. It really does start to kind of like affect even how you approach yeah. combat and how you think about the battlefield. I won't be touching the dark art stuff, but I know many of you guys will be. Maybe on your second playthrough. <laughs> yeah, second playthrough. Yes, okay. dark Hufflepuff <laughs> coming. Hashtag soon. Um, <laughs> Dark um, Puff, the good, me good old meme. And I, this will be for everybody, and we'll start with Boston. Um, with this game that you guys have been working on for however long and the excitement you guys have, what's one aspect of Hogwarts Legacy that you are excited for the fans? The fans. That's us. I think I am just excited for the fans to play through the world, specifically the castle. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Maybe go read those books again. <laughs> I, I hope that you either whether you're already a imagine. and you know love this game or this is your first introduction into the world, I, I hope 
they just point at each other in the best way possible. And um, I'm just excited for fans to get to finally go to Hogwarts and yeah, feel yeah. like they can own it and live there. I've lived there for five years. It's a, <laughs> it's a great place to live. <laughs> Official fifth year. <laughs> I, uh, it, it's, it's really funny because because I, my, <laughs> I want to give a different answer, and I will. Yeah. Uh, but, but I actually feel like the most honest answer is really similar. Um, mm. Because my. I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to the know, most. Running around, playing the game, yeah. and getting like to know, walking through the know, castle, Hogwarts discovering the, the castle. Boston yeah. knows it because she knows the school and yeah. the lore better than I do. And thank God, <laughs> right? Because you want the person. Why did you miss really yeah. quite a lot, sadly? But, um, but welcome back. When I when I rewatch the films, or or Didn't I know you could read from the books. <laughs> there's a different relationship to those things having played the game. Right. And so right. it's really looking over the edge yeah. and seeing seeing location I'm like, oh my God, I'm right there. And in the movie saying, I know what's around that corner <laughs> in the film. Like yeah. if you go down this way, yeah. there's actually yeah. a thing over here mm -hmm. and there's this- Come on, talk about the old games. And, and it just adds all this richness to everything that you already love. And that's said, but you're gonna add your own story. Yeah. So you know what happens around that corner because you did something. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then the, the quick answer just to have something different. I mean, I guess it's cool if it's close to the room. movies as well, but there's a lot <laughs> that was close to the old games. You can't tell me they didn't, they didn't get inspired from that. No way, they didn't. There's just something exhilarating about it that yeah. feels very different in that kind of... Yeah, they've actually answered that, that synthetic thing. in this just, like, short kind of thing. Yeah. They're, they're essentially going to be quests. Uh, you know, for me, it's just bringing All the community lessons. together with it and sharing those stories <laughs> the way I because understood it is your story. And you, you are going to be writing... You know, this is this is your unique experience. <laughs> yeah, and so. Even within the things that are the same, Maybe. it's going to be your unique experience. It's different yeah. from mine. It's different yeah. from we're all approaching it from different places, and uh, I think that's going to be really cool the way that everybody brings those things together. All right, and that's everything that we have to show you today. I know maybe it wasn't everything you wanted to see, but it was a whole lot of stuff. Character. It was creator, pretty good, uh, man. Uh, it was a pretty good. Mini tour of Hogwarts. <laughs> I got to tell you that much. A little bit of combat. Um, and we've, we do have some more stuff coming up for you in the future. Hogwarts Legacy. All right, see you around, Saber. That was quite the reveal. <laughs> have a good uh, rest of your day. Now. Uh, but that's going to do it from us. We're going to leave you with a little something Yeah, that was else, really cool. Now, that was uh, really, that was fun bye. to watch. Bye. Apart from the character <laughs> creation thing, I thought that was kind of, kind of useless, but... Like, Hogwarts looks very, very, very good. One out of ten more character creation. Like, I'm still not convinced about the fighting, to be completely honest. Like, I'm not sure what to think about the fighting yet. But, like, the, the visuals and the, the world... Oh, and how lively it is. Yeah. That's good. That looks good, at least. What are Ashwinders? They're from Fantastic Beasts. They're like snakes or whatever. Yeah, we sadly still don't have Flipendo confirmation. Ambitious, yeah. Ambitious. Can call it groundbreaking. Also true. It's it's not yeah, but like considering we didn't have any like Harry Potter games for a while, it's groundbreaking in that regard. Like it's it definitely has elements that uh, I've seen in other games. Pretty much all of it. Where is the city doubt they'll have Flipendo? Nah, nah, they're, they, they're gonna have Flipendo. And I, I'm, I'm gonna refund this if they don't have Flipendo, I'm telling you. Not playing a single second if that spell's not in there. I, I think it looks cool. Like, I just wanna spend time running around Hogwarts and discovering all of the areas. Like, dang. Yeah, it could be. It could be quite a banger game. We'll see. The, vo the voice acting, I mean, yeah, it, uh, it wasn't super horrible, but some of the students sounded like not very fitting to how they looked. Like the, the guy at the end sounded so young, but looked like 14. Yeah. They nailed the castle. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that's all I care about. I want a big open world, a, a big open world with a lot of things to discover. That's... That's the main point. Um, and it looks like they are on a good way to have that or to implement that. FPS drops were sad a bit. Wait, were there FPS drops in the trailer? I didn't actually see. I was way too busy looking for like Easter eggs and all that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I can say. This It looks really cool. 
I am looking forward. Like there's, I, I'm a, I'm a bit, I'm a bit more convinced now. I think than I was before. Because the open world, which is the main thing I care about, looks pretty amazing and very, very lively and everything. Um, that's like the main, the main thing I care about. You know how any percent is gonna look now. I mean, we're definitely gonna be playing on the easy, on the story difficulty, the plep difficulty. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna fix like some of the obvious issues with it. I'm not too worried about FPS drops and like texture issues and whatnot. I'm more worried about fighting getting boring. That's that's honestly my biggest worry right now. Like it didn't convince me in the trailer, I have to say. It it did not convince me fully. It looked cooler than before, but we'll see. It's always worry how they balance different difficulties. Yeah, I mean, it's probably only gonna be in fighting that it's different, right? It was a bit bland. Yeah, like, it looked cool, but, like, after you've done it three times, I, it feels kind of boring. We'll see. You don't really have to aim? No, I don't think so. But that, honestly, that might be for the better. Last time they had us aim in a, in a Harry Potter game, we got <laughs> Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Is it soul style fighting? It didn't really look like it. Like you could do the souls like dodge roll, the signature dodge roll, but it was more like a ranged color based select the correct spell kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think they've shown much about the combat really. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Like it, it, it definitely gave me hope that this is going to be good. We'll see. Also no gobstones. That's already, that's a plus. The speed run as well, yeah. I'm really, like, running that is gonna be, or routing that is gonna be so fun. Actually, so fun. People gobstones. <laughs> Come on, nobody is actually sad about that. Let's be honest. Uh, these type of open, open world multiple mission systems often have sequence breaks. I wouldn't be surprised if there are some, yeah. 